Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I have a plan with me for you using this Glam Planner kit from April 2017. This was a mystery kit. So basically this is my first voiceover so this is kind of a trial but here are the full boxes, the double boxes, the checklist, the functionals and yeah I'll just go through this kit really quickly. The washi is so pretty and the headers and little things. All right, so let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is pull in some Simply Gilded Washi and some Rose Colored Days Foiled Headers. And I have the Lacy Headers and the Solid Gold Headers. The Simply Gilded Washi that I brought was the, um, the pink with the champagne and the white with the champagne gold. So I'm gonna go ahead and put down all my washi and I'll be right back. So now I'm just putting my full boxes down. I started off with the double box and I just love this double box. I wanted to use it. I think she's so cute just reading her magazine and having her breakfast in her huge bed and it's so sweet and I really like the illustrations in this kit and I wish I knew who did this illustration because I feel like this style of illustration isn't seen a lot. In the planner community as far as like it's not TWG designs or bloomsicle or one of those like really popular ones but anyway I'm using a rose colored days header and those were the lacy headers and they just I just thought they'd complement the kit really nicely just very delicate and then I started putting down my page flags but I realized I had to white everything out because those glossy stickers, I don't know what it was, but they seemed really translucent. And um, as when I was whiting it out, I whited out the Y of July. So I ended up having to um, find some date covers, which is totally fine. I didn't know if I had any that matched, but I found some rose colored days, very neutral gray headers, and they worked out really pretty. And for some reason, I thought I had whited that part out. Oh, no, just kidding. That is the... I put the blue one there and then the pink one on the other side. So, yeah, now I'm just whiting out the date covers and... Or the dates. And then I'm putting those rose-colored days ones down. They're just gray. Like a very faint gray and gold. And I just thought it would go really pretty with this kit because it was neutral. You can see, like... If you look detailed at the drawings, you can kind of see some pencil markings or um, not really pencil markings, but on the tufts of the bed, you can kind of see a little bit of gray. So that's why I pulled it in and I didn't really have anything else because I don't really buy a lot of those um, of foiled items. I just use what's in the kit most of the time. But yeah, so now I'm just going to go ahead and put in my full boxes, and I always have to switch it, and then you see the back of my desk, um, because I have you on a tripod. So yeah, I like the bath scene, I used that other double box in the beginning of the week, and then this coffee, like just drinking coffee, and I like that that pattern behind the coffee box is striped, it's so cute. Um, so yeah, I'm using the lace boxes or the lace headers over the full boxes and then I'll use the solid gold headers over just over every single day and I don't think I used any headers from her kit this week actually. So I'm loving how it looks so far and here I'm just trying to fix the blinds at this point and because I didn't want the sun and then I had to get up and redo everything but whatever it's it is what it is and so now you're just seeing me struggle 
with the sun and that happens sometimes so I'm sorry about the lighting I do use natural lighting and I sit in front of a window so I get what I get when it comes to this so now on to Monday so I'm just using a little happy mail um, envelope from Nicole Alexia designs and that is gonna mark me packing and shipping orders and then I spent most of Monday filming a how to print and cut your own stickers at home and I'm just using a little bow foiled gold bow that I made for myself and a half box from the kit and then I'm marking that I need to fold laundry and I'm using a paper princess plans tan princess laundry princess she is so cute and then I'm marking there I was trying to find a good sticker to mark that I printed about six kits um, I think it was six or five for that print and cut video um, so I ended up using a paper and gumption kit not kit um, deco sticker from one of her two dollar Tuesdays and that's just like a little desk and it says girl boss and then I used an alley girl from my shop to mark that I was working on some paperwork that I needed to get done and so she's working on her computer moving on to Tuesday I went ahead and put down a checklist for my to do's because since I was home all week I wanted to get a bunch of things done and then at the bottom I just put this um, freebie from Nicole Alexia designs of planners because most of the stuff I was doing was planner related and then I wanted to mark that I'm going to clean my Rascog cart, which I did. I'm so happy. Um, even though it's messy again, it just doesn't stay clean. But I cleaned my Rascog cart, and then I wanted to mark that I was planning on working out. So I used an Alley Workout sticker for that. And also, I got my Simply Gilded order in. So happy. And I used a, I think it's, oh my gosh. I forgot this um, tickled pink planning digital that I made into stickers so now moving on to Wednesday I went ahead and put a checklist on the bottom because I have a lot of stuff going on <laughs> this week that I want to get done and checklists seem to be the best way to go and oh I did use a header from the kit I just used one it says today and I used this um, this it was a digital from sugary gal shop and it's a crafting time sticker and then I used a half box there that says well I was deciding on what I wanted to use at that point so I put the half box the pink half box with the striped washi it looks like sheets or pajamas I just think this is so pretty and delicate and I want to buy this kit again because I want to have one to hoard and a little papering gumption closet thing for I wanted to say clean and then I put an alley sticker on the bottom of that checklist so that's pretty much everything for Wednesday now moving on to Thursday I put one of the gold headers down and an, a Jessa payday sticker and a scribble prints co nail polish um, for get my mini but I didn't actually do that so I have to put a nope sticker on there because I ended up not uh, going to get a manicure. I I know like the growth is a lot, but I'm just going to wait a little bit on that. Now I'm whiting out the dots and putting a half box because I wanted to spend a good chunk of Thursday mind mapping and dreaming and just like journaling, kind of see, get my thoughts together because I think it's important to take time to think about your life <laughs> and your choices. And I use that little munchkin from once for with love and it was on a spc um freebie from her old freebie and then i wanted to mark that i had an appointment at 4 30 p.m it was a phone appointment and then i used a little alarm clock from the kit for that and then i put my little alley sticker that um means i'm working out and then I put that I was going to film my B6 plan with me. Oh, I think I didn't. I didn't do that yet. <laughs> okay, just kidding. So I put down the header and um, I put down the checklist again. I didn't want these checklists to go to waste, even though I'm not a white space plan. I mean, I'm not a no white space planner. 
And I just thought that those checklists were great. And then you see me butchering it because I was like, I'll just cut it because I don't have that many. And then I ended up using the whole thing and just filling it out. So and actually Friday ended up being a completely no white space day with like washi behind every half box, etc. So you see, it's kind of cute. But at the same time, there was no space underneath to add anything of value. So I ended up just covering the whole thing and putting a full heart checklist there which it only has five things so I have five things to do and so I put that under and then I put the header back on top because it wasn't it was covering some of the gold and I'd rather cover some of the sticker than the gold and I just put I was gonna put a bow on it and I was like no it's too much and so I ended up just putting an alley sticker for working out and I didn't want to take up any more space so for Friday I put a half box over some pink washi and we were marking that we were going to food truck Friday and I used a little scribble prints co sienna sticker which you will see very soon <laughs> this is new to me this voiceover life but I kind of like it because the video is going by really fast so I'm like looking for my freebies, siennas, and then I found my taco sienna, and that's what I ended up using. So I really like it. And what else? I think I left it blank, but now there's a half box for the bow on it. So now moving on to Saturday, we are going to go see The Incredibles, and I wanted to put that, and so I put it behind some washi, and we're also going to Brewster's. Brewster's is an ice cream parlor that is close by and it's my favorite so we're gonna go get ice cream on Saturday although we did end up making brownies so I don't know if we'll just have ice cream and brownies at home so we'll figure it out either way there's ice cream ice cream to be had so I put a little Celeste eating ice cream sticker from the SPC anniversary bundle and then I put the two foiled headers down and whited out the dots in between the day so that's pretty much it for that and I'm gonna go ahead and write everything in um, and then you'll see me add on the Friday that half box with the foiled bow as well as I think I add a couple more things but I'm not sure oh yeah there's the b6 from um, from tickle pig planning I haven't been using my traveler's notebook at all. I've been using my Erin Condren, and so it's kind of, I'm kind of going through a little crisis because I want to use my traveler's notebook, and I've been using it, I was using it a lot during the school year, but I feel like if I'm using my Erin Condren, I don't really use my traveler's notebook, so, and, and vice versa. I have a few weeks in April and May when I was really using my traveler's notebook, and I loved it. But I wasn't using my Erin Condren, so I don't know. What do y'all think? Um, do y'all just use one planner, or how do you use multiple planners? Uh, but anyway, I'm putting some skinny 10 millimeter Simply Gilded washi on my sidebar, and then I realized I forgot the weekend banner, so I just put that on the bottom. And then I put my habit tracker. She only had one at the time. And my habit this week was to journal every day. And then I was going to put a foiled header, but I didn't want to waste it. So I got the very, very teeny weeny 5 millimeter skinny bows from Simply Gilded. And I'm loving it. <laughs> I'm loving the Simply Gilded life for sure. And that's just a cute little way to contain the journaling. And then I put a this week header and whited out all the dots and put the... Um, weekly box I had the little camera to mark on my Instagram post for the week and then I wanted to put that extra full box down because I didn't want any of them to go to waste and so I put it on the bottom and I was gonna use some simply gilded washi there but I ended up needing to use a half box there anyway so um, you'll see me putting that down and that was because I need to renew my teaching license but it's not something that can get done in one day so then I cut out the bottom of that box just to have that down and then I put the simply gilded five millimeter bow washi on the top of my planner so yeah it's super cute I love that washi I'm kind of obsessed now it's so funny because before, like, I have a ton of washi, but I have not been using it. 
I used to use it a lot last year in my recollections planner. I used so much washi. It was crazy. But yeah, so that's pretty much it for my plan with me. I'm going to go ahead and write everything in. Um, this wasn't going to be a voiceover, but it was kind of a hot mess. There's my Viv Wiggle. Um, and so I wanted to just get it done. I used a Micron Point O three, I think it's Point O three or just O three pen for this. I like these because they have permanent ink, um, and but they're really really skinny. So yeah. Before I go, I just want to say thank you so much for watching this plan with me, and I hope to see you in my next video. And also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and let me know in the comments. Again, what do y'all do about this planner um, identity crisis? Because I'm having some issues with using my traveler's notebook versus my Erin Condren. And then I also have a personal planner that I want to use. So let me know. All right. I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye.